Hi and welcome to the Thrunite channel. So today's video is going to be all about the new Thrunite TS1 survival light. This is a new version of the TS2 and the major difference between the two of them is the TS2 had a 21700 battery whereas the new TS1 has a very common 18650 battery. In addition to talking about this flashlight, we're also going to be comparing it to three other batteries that are very common in the marketplace today. So this is through Night's new TS1 self rescue flashlight. Right on the bottom here is an accessory that comes with the light. This is a magnetic um, little clip, right? it's a carabiner style clip. This will allow you to clip the light into other positions that you can't use the already magnetic bottom of the flashlight. So pretty handy, we'll put that off to the side for a second here. I wanna show you how this light works. It's a really simple concept. Basically the flashlight is a little head unit that is attached through the side charging port of the battery itself. So this is your entire flashlight, this is your battery source, and this is of course your carrying case. So all you have to do is clip that to the side inside the charging port, and then it slips inside of the case, and again it's magnetic on the bottom, so once it's in it doesn't want to easily come out. There's a little button on the side, let me go ahead and zoom in and show you this. All you have to do to use the light is push the button once, the light will turn on. This is the low mode. In low mode, you have four lumen output, and this will run for 120 hours on a full charge battery. All right, push and hold to change between low, medium, and high. So there's four lumens, 35 lumens for the medium mode, and then our high is 100 lumens. All right, click it once to shut off at any point in time. There's also a built-in SOS mode. All you have to do is double click it. and there's SOS. Click it again to shut it off. Now if you notice, this has a completely diffused dome. So when you turn the flashlight on here, you can see it is a complete area light. It's not focusing light in one specific direction, it's just a full area. So let me put this on high. And again, uh, if you have a power outage, or if you're in a camp situation, or an emergency, maybe you're in your vehicle, and there's a problem with your vehicle, you're on the side of the road, you're looking around to get tools, it's just a complete area light. All right, it's very nice that the bottom is magnetic, so you can attach that magnetically, or again, use the uh, accessory clip here to clip it on anything that is not magnetic. Now to charge this flashlight, all you have to do is grab the accessory cable. All right, you're going to remove the entire unit from its case, remove the head unit off of the battery itself. You're gonna find the appropriate plug here. All right, this does come with three different plugs. There's a lightning cable, a type C charging cable, and then there is a micro USB. In this case, this port is the type C. So you pop the type C in, and then you put this into a USB, or this is basically like a cap here. So we take this off, we have another um, type C. All right, it's for faster charging. And that's how I just charge this battery while testing it. Put this into uh, my type C port on my computer. Now what I really like about the TS1 is I can use this as an emergency backup battery pack. Okay, so let's say my cell phone's dying, I wanna charge my cell phone. All I have to do is remove this little USB cap, plug in the type C, fast charging into the battery itself. Then I can charge any multitude of devices with these different cable heads. But in the case of my phone, I happen to have an Apple iPhone, so I'd use a lightning cable and therefore I can charge my phone. What's also a really, really nice feature, whether you're using this as a flashlight or a battery pack, is on top here, let me zoom in for you. There's a little button here and an indicator of how much power is left inside of this battery. So on top, you can see it says press three second, see battery power. So this little button, you use your fingernail, push in for three seconds, one, two, three, let go. And you can see this is charged to 50% of its capacity. This is a really, really nice feature just to quickly see how much battery power you have left. Now, before I put this away back to the flashlight setup, I want to compare it to three other common batteries of its size. We have a Streamlight battery. This is called the SLB26, but essentially this is just a proprietary name for an 18650. It is the same size and, you know, for all intent purposes, is used in 18650 flashlights. Then we have a Phoenix 18650, and then we have the Nightcore 18650. Now, the reason I'm giving you measurements on these batteries is because I found that the TS1 battery uh, works in other branded flashlights, but it's a little bit random. You know, it works with some models, doesn't work with other models. Sometimes it doesn't fit uh, quite right. Sometimes it fits in there totally fine, but it doesn't actually uh, turn the light on. 
Uh, so it's a little hit and miss as to what lights this will work with, but it will work with other flashlights. All right, so I have some calipers here. Uh, I'm just going to use the, not the digital portion because I need a new battery, but I'm going to use the manual portion of this caliper to give you some size readings here. All right, so first we have the through night battery. So this through night battery is 71 millimeters or 2.78 inches. All right. Next up, we have the Streamlight. The length on this Streamlight, make sure it's lined up properly. This is 2.75 inches or 70 millimeters. Then we have the Phoenix here. So the Phoenix 18650 looks to be 69.5 millimeters or 2.73 inches. And finally, this night core here. This one is just a hair shorter. This looks like 69 millimeters or 2.71 inches. All right. So just for reference here, the through night battery uh, comes in at 71 millimeters. The Streamlight is one millimeter shorter then the Phoenix is a half a millimeter shorter than that. And then the Nightcore is a half a millimeter shorter than that. All right. So although they are extremely close in size, they do differ. All right. So this through night battery will work in some flashlights, but not others. So to reassemble, all you have to do is take your battery, put that head into that port, slip it back into the body. And if you choose to use the accessory, just pop it on the bottom. So the TS1 is everything that the TS2 was, only in a slightly smaller package and with a more common battery. The 21700 is in plenty of different flashlights, a little bit larger, a little beefier, but I find that there is way more 18650 size flashlights out there. Um, so just a little bit slimmer overall, but offers pretty much the same features. So that's it for this one. If you guys weren't aware, Through Night does free giveaways all the time. If you want to enter into the giveaways, all you have to do is comment on these videos and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.